So we have Robert Karanja, Passion for Completion. Passion for Completion, Robert Karanja. If you've watched any old movie about Egyptian mummies, you'll notice that they are old and decrepit. They are slow. However, they are able to capture their victims. They're able to capture their victims because they have magic. And using their magic, they create illusions that distract these people. And while the people are distracted, the mummy slowly approaches them and captures them. The idea of being distracted was high in my mind as I started off on my fourth path. The sense of excitement and novelty that the first path had, had gone after going through three paths. And so I realized that I needed a way to keep myself motivated throughout if I was going to complete this path. While thinking about different ideas on how I was going to go about this, I got several good ones, which I have packaged conveniently into something that I'll call the three A's of passion to complete. This evening, I'm going to talk to you about these three A's. They are aspiration, achievement, and application. Let us start with the first, aspiration. Aspiration is what do you want to achieve in the path? In this path, I realized that I needed an overarching goal if I was going to complete it. My overarching goal is to one day become an accredited speaker. An accredited speaker is a designation given by Toastmasters. And one of the requirements is for you to have delivered 25 professional speeches. 15 of these 25 speeches need to have been paid engagements. I thought about what it will take for people to pay me a thousand shillings, 5,000 shillings, and they, dare I dream 70,000 shillings for them to just listen to me speaking. That is why I chose this particular path presentation mastery. By having this goal at the forefront of my mind throughout, I was able to avoid distractions. Over the last couple of months, there have been very many of them. Contests, conferences, renewal periods, elections. I was able to stay on track despite all of this. Still under aspirations, you need a concrete way of figuring out your next step. My action plan in this plan was very simple. First, I booked a speaking slot in every club in which I was a member. Second, I set specific days and clubs for each of the speeches for any particular level that I was in. And finally, I created a simple outline for each of those speeches that I had scheduled. The simple outline was simply a specific purpose for the speech and then the three main points that would make up the body of that speech. As the day of the scheduled speeches approached, approached, because of my action plan, I was able to honor my commitments and the process of writing and preparing the speech was stress-free. After I had figured out my aspirations, I realized that along my path, I needed to have a sense of progress. And this brings me to the second A which is achievement. Achievement is simply what is going to show you that you're making progress. The first type of uh, achievement that you need is an intangible one. For this path, I decided to go to the Toastmasters website and buy a path pin. In addition to the path pin, I also buy, bought a small addition that could be attached to the pin that shows the specific level that you are on. I wore this pin during every speech that I delivered. And I looked forward to every level completion speech so that at the end of the speech, I was able to change that small tag to the next level. This kept me motivated and I had a great desire to keep moving forward. 
The other way of showing your progress is through intangible signs. After you've delivered a speech, what usually goes through your mind? Do you think about the things that you could have said? Do you think about the things that you could have done different? Do you think about how you could improve? While it is important to take feedback that is going to help you improve during your next speech, I believe it is much more important to recognize the progress that you have made from your previous speeches. In the course of completing this speech path, I purposed to always focus on how I have grown, no matter how small, from the previous speech. I focused on the feedback that helped me, get, encouraged me to keep moving forward to the next speech. Any thought or any feedback that did, discouraged me from taking the next step was quickly put out of my mind. As you're progressing towards your aspiration, you need to feel that the time that you're applying to the speeches is worthwhile. Because to be honest, writing and preparing to deliver a speech takes time and effort. And you need to have a sense that the time that you're putting into this endeavor is worthwhile. And this brings me to the third P, to the third A, which is application. Application is simply, how are you going to put into practice what you're learning in Toastmasters? I put what I learned in Toastmasters, first of all, in practice into my career. One of the projects in the presentation mastery path is preparing to speak professionally. This project culminates in an 18 to 22 minute speech. While working on this project, I saw opportunities on how I could move from being a trainer in my career to becoming a professional speaker. As a result of this, I was able to develop one hour long keynote style talks on personal finance. And I'm in the progress of developing several more. In addition to applying the learning in my career, I also applied the learning in other areas of passion. I have always had a desire to have a YouTube channel. However, in the past, I did not know how to go about it. But one day in the course of preparing for a speech in this path, I had a light bulb moment. I realized that over the last one year, when delivering a speech, I would come, I would write down my thoughts on paper, then sit in front of my camera when I'm called upon and speak to the camera. I realized that that is all it takes to do a YouTube video. So I sat down, wrote a script for my YouTube video, sat in front of my phone camera and recorded myself as I spoke. And just like that, I had the first video in my YouTube channel. Let me conclude. Before I set off on my fourth path, I realized that I needed to actively motivate myself. I needed a way to keep my passion burning throughout. To do this, I made sure that I focused on my aspirations throughout. I recognized myself using achievements. And finally, I applied the knowledge that I was learning through this path in other areas of my life outside Toastmasters. All this helped me stay motivated. In your Toastmasters journey, you might feel like the waddling, lumbering, shambling Egyptian mummy has caught up to you using its magic and you have not been able to make progress. By remembering these three A's, which are aspiration, achievement, and application, you can set yourself free and complete your path. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster.